All right, well, it has been a week since uh, Miss Coda and I put our trail cam out for work. So uh, we're gonna go out. I got Broden with me today, and we're gonna go out there and check the uh, check the pictures, see what we got. We didn't see any antelope or deer tracks at this water hole, um, but there's no cattle on it, and it's one of the few watering places uh, nearby, excluding the creek, that, that does not have cattle. So I'm hoping that uh, they do find it. So it's been out there for a whole week. We got uh, archery antelope for the first 15 days, and then I have 15 days of archery antelope and uh, deer and both of those are either sex. So hopefully I can fill a tag one way or the other And then uh, we'll go from there. So stay tuned. It's gonna be fun. Drive on by slowly. Oh. Look at that. Oh, there's a bomb. There was a second one got up, yep. Yeah. Well, I came out to shoot my bow real quick and I ran into an issue. My release here. Well, if you can see that. It's not staying closed anymore. So luckily all five arrows still made it in. Didn't shake, shank any, but now I'm gonna have to get a new release. <clears throat> uh, trying to get used to my new release here. This is, I think it's just Scott brand release. So I had been shooting this old Cabela's release for quite a while. So I got my archery buck with two years ago down in the desert in Southern Idaho. Um, and that was, it's a good release, but the spring wore out on it and also the Velcro is very loud. Um, I never really did like that. So I went and picked up the Scott release. Like I said, this is the Jaws. And I gotta say, I am loving it. I just finished shooting my last round. I actually ended up adjusting uh, my sight over just a little bit to the right. At 40 yards, I was about three inches uh, to the right. So I had to readjust that. But. This is the last group. All right, well, uh, I was just heading back to the, uh, the alfalfa field. Just found uh, one of the bucks that I've been looking at. So I'm gonna try and turn you around here. Unfortunately, the wind is picking up. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to get steady enough, but we're gonna try it. He's quite a ways away. Very poor quality video, but there he is. So, I think he's pretty stockable, honestly. All right, well, switch of plans. Uh, that buck bedded down. I packed all my stuff up and then put binos out one more time just to confirm like background um, points, you know, to line up where I was going, where I needed to park on the road and everything. And uh, he stood up and just started walking again. So. Uh, I think I figured out kind of where he's going, so I'm kind of hightailing it around. He's currently about a mile away. So I'm down in the bottom of the, of the ravine right now. Posted up, I've got this little, little rut down here that gives a little bit of a terrain break. Let me flip you around and see if, uh, see if we can get a view of him.
just busted me. So I just backed out down the ravine, set the decoy up. Now I'm hoping, I don't know, I don't think he's gonna come back in. Bedded literally just right there. Made it to 80 yards. And he busted me. But it's all freaking wide open. Somewhere over there, area. Made it all the way up here. Use this little ravine right here. Never thought that I'd make it to within 80 yards of them. It just, just ran out of cover. I was hoping this ravine went up a little bit higher, but all right, stock number two. So the whole herd is on the alfalfa field right now. They're feeding downwind uh, towards the corner. So I am going about a mile and a third, mile and a quarter, mile and a third to get on the downwind side. Let's see if I can sneak in downwind from them. All right, well, it is extremely hot. all the way around the field and right as I was going the last 80 yards 100 yards um, to get into position another four does and four yearlings came up over the hill and they're just taking their sweet time feeding up and over so I decided to drop my pack here it's 11:30 now gotta be probably about 85 What sucks is I already closed all this distance. If I just, if I try and get out of here now, they're gonna see me. Kinda had to play through the open as they fed through the field type of deal. And I got this one doe that's just sitting up on top as a lookout and she is just, she doesn't have me pegged, but she keeps looking over here. Well, a lot, has, a lot has transpired since the last time I got on. Um, so it is August 18th now, <clears throat> sitting in my blind. Got it set up on the edge of the alfalfa field. And uh, I came out and set it up two nights ago, Wednesday night, tonight's Friday. When I was done setting it up, um, saw some goats up on the hill coming down to the field. And I had literally just finished setting it up. So I said, what the heck, I'm here, I might as well sit. Um, sat in the blind and the goats ended up coming in a different trail than usual. And they ended up feeding in front of me at 70 yards. And so um, I'm hoping they do it again tonight. I just got out here, it is 6.15 and uh, no signs of them yet. The rancher was out working in the field earlier so I don't know if they're gonna come out or not. Well. We are only five minutes away from sunset. I've not seen them come out here this late, so I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and be back here first thing in the morning. It's been a beautiful evening though. Just didn't have the goats show up. morning there was a truck that parked out on the highway and I saw a guy with a headlamp go down the public land side of the fence turned his headlamp off and he was moving pretty quick uh, this was before it was really light out so I don't know if 
he was able to get on him on the public land side, probably just bumped him farther. So we're just gonna wait him out. I don't have to be out of here until noon. So we'll see what happens. now Sunday morning <clears throat> day five and uh, temperature is a lot cooler this morning it's only supposed to be a high of 78 today it is supposed to rain off and on pretty much all day it was spitting a little bit ago when I came walking out so I'm hoping with this cooler weather a little bit of rain Hopefully they're going to want to come down and feed because they've not gotten a good feeding session in a few days on the alfalfa. We'll just have to wait them out. Sit here all day if we have to. Won't be too hot so I can sit in the blind and won't die of a heat stroke. So, basically, a lot has happened since I last tracked in. Uh, put a stock on that buck um, Sunday, the first weekend of the season. Um, it was raining, about 55 degrees. I was able to close in uh, to what was 42 yards. Um, long story short, I ranged him three times and it was 54 yards, 54 yards, 54 yards on my range finder. And so even though in the back of my mind, I kept thinking, man, it's like a 40 yard shot. Um, I ended up shooting at 54 yards or shooting for 54 yards. And when I drew back, he turned back frontal towards me. Um, and so I was at full draw for about three minutes. And then he finally turned his head took a step to the to his left um, and so I went 54 yards shot and I watched my arrow go about six inches over his back perfectly in line six inches over the back he ran off that was the end of it that was Sunday um, had a, a kid from Pennsylvania who I'd ran into um, his dad previously at the beginning of the season he ended up shooting the goat shooting the buck um, and so Congratulations to him. It's a great animal. Um, so that's that's what happened with the buck. So it is now Wednesday, the following week. We're now two weeks into this, or two and a half weeks into the season. And uh, I came out tonight after work. It's like 40 mile an hour winds. And when I drove by, my blind was up on its side. It was being held by one stake. So thank goodness that stake held. So I just packed up the blind and uh, came out here and the uh, antelope were working their way into the field and I knew exactly where they were going to pop out at to cross onto BLM and uh, they did, they did just that. I had the front doe step out behind the rocks 35 yards and uh, I drew back, I was on my knees, I drew back before going up. She didn't spook and so I slowly went up like this and I made it to about right here, bow at about a 45. And she took off running, the whole herd went with her. They didn't even stop to look back and read the time. So that's that.
my wife was able to come down to the road brought the truck out and I was actually able to drive pretty much all the way out so now I just gotta I already drug her about a hundred yards down off of the rock cliff but now we just gotta grab her take her right back there to the truck not even five minutes to the house